Welcome to Entertainment News. The buzz among cinema goers is the anticipated cinema release of Tiger's Tale, the new movie by the busy motion picture practitioner Victor Pala. Indeed, there is a high level expectation for the action packed movie, which opens in cinemas across the country from July 22. The movie stars are Alex Ekubo, Stephen Damien, Zubi Michael, Kelechi Udegbe, Nosarex, among others. Speaking to Victor, he said the entire movie took about six months, and the most challenging and interesting part was filming in the slum. It was frustrating to say the least. I, I didn't understand this part of Lagos. I was in a part of Lagos where I saw 12 year old children smoking bad substances. Some of them are in the film. Some of them, and I invited some of them here today. Some of them are in the, yes, some of them are in the film. And you know, you go to them like, why are you doing this? Oh my Shara, you know, uh uh. You know, they can't wind me here. What you concern you? I say, but this is not. Okay, okay, can I put you on TV? You say, ah, I don't know one day TV. We may run and now. And they were happy to be part of it, and they did it, and, and we're glad we're here. Six months. Wow. Yes, six months, from February till now, six months. Right. Thank you, <laughs> Galaxy, for coming. Alex Kubo talked about his experience during the shoot and his work band with the producer. Amazing, amazing. I'm just happy that, you know, people enjoyed the movie. The turnout was great. People loved it. It's been one interesting ride filming this project. Lots of talents, emotions. And for us, you know, the reward at the end of it is that, you know, the audience gets to cry, to laugh and to clap and to feel excited. And that's what just happened um, in the cinema. And I'm so excited to be a part of this project. Meanwhile, a lot of actors and actresses were present to support Victor during his premiere. Not to forget veteran actor John Ingyama graced the carpet and had this to say about Victor. He's a very good visual storyteller. He's been in the game for a bit. He's just someone who's very creative, who enjoys his work. He's an amazing person. Just whenever you're working with Victor, just bring your 100%. He goes for the money. He doesn't mistake where the dollar is. And um, he understands that part of this business that we call show biz. Victor Okwala has been a very hardworking filmmaker from inception. I've known him for a couple of years now, and I know him that he always love to um, outdo himself. Now let's take a listen to some feedbacks from colleagues and friends after the movie screening. And we just came out of the cinema and we just finished viewing it and um, everybody's going crazy about it. They especially love my character and I'm honestly in awe. I wasn't, I was honestly nervous about how it would play out, whether they'd like it or not. But everybody seems to love the character so much. So guys, make sure you come to the cinemas and watch it. Yo guys, Ade Baski did amazing. Everybody has to come and see him as Debo. You heard the Fresh Prince of Lagos. You, know. you heard the Fresh Prince of Lagos. And on that day's Nigeria music star, Two Faced Innocent, Idibia's baby mama, Vera Dini, has celebrated her first daughter, Amira Motunola Oluwa Tumininu, on her birthday. Vera took to her Instagram page on Monday, July 18, 2022, where she shared praises on her first child. Pero is one of the music star baby mamas, and they have three children together, A, Justin, and Innocent Jr. On to elections, American singer Chris Brown has congratulated Davido's uncle, Senator Ademola Deleke, over his victory at the Oshun State Governorship election. The music star took to his Instagram story on Sunday, July 17, 2022, where he shared a photo of Adeleke with a series of emojis. This is coming hours after INEC declared Adeleke of the People's Democratic Party as the winner of the July 16 gubernatorial election in Oshun State. Adeleke polled 403,371 votes to defeat fifth the incumbent governor of the state, Boyega Oyetola, who polled 375,027 vote. Still on elections, veteran comic actor Charles Awurum got his fans talking when he shared a funny video about Nigerians upcoming elections in 2023 on his Instagram page. Charles stressed the need for every citizen to take part and vote in the elections and not be deceived by tricky politicians who deceive the people with religion and tribalism. He made the remarks in Pigeon English as he commended the youth on their strive to take their nation back from people who promised to take it from top to bottom. Meanwhile, on a sad note, veteran actress Shola Onoyiga, who played the role of Ureti in Kunle Bantafe's popular soap opera, 
Fuji House of Commotion has died. The Checkmate actress, who was popularly known for her comic role in the now reset soap, died at about 3.45 a.m. today, July 18, 2022, after battling a yet-to-be-disclosed ailment. Still on a sad note, Nollywood actress Adda Amer is dead. The death of the actress was confirmed by the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, M. Mekarulas. According to several reports, the actress was said to have been a guest of an oil company's top shot and his family when she suddenly slammed during a gathering. She was reportedly rushed to the NNPC hospital in Wari Delta State where she was confirmed dead. It will be recalled that a few weeks ago, the actress revealed that she was going through some mental health issues. The movie star lost her only child in 2020 after a surgery gone wrong. Nigerians have taken to social media to express their shock over the sudden death of Nollywood actress Ada Ahmed. May the soul of the departed rest in peace. And that'll be all on entertainment news.